Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today I first want to apologize for the sound quality. My microphone battery just died after I recorded first part of the video and I don't have a separate one. I thought I did have a spare one, um, but I'm just gonna have to go to the shop and buy one for later. <laughs> but for now, I hope this is still okay. And yeah, today I want to just take you with me, I guess. Spend some time with me um, in the workshop while I work on new jewelry. I am preparing a new collection that will be in the shop on Friday and I'm really excited for it. I have been procrastinating <laughs> with making that theme, I guess, for a very long time because I was so excited for it and I guess I was scared that it's not going to be what I imagined, but so far so good. It's actually, it's looking pretty good. I am very happy, so I'll show you in a second and I'll tell you what I'll be doing. <laughs> This is not easy. I need to find an angle with enough light where I look good, where the space looks good. And overall, everything looks good and it's not easy, okay? <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to start by showing you what I'm working this time. What I'm working on this time. Where is it? Yeah. Anyway, so I started by drawing these um, just the other day. I was really inspired by these like artworks and tattoo art, um, graphics um, with whales and space and flowers. Like, this combination was really, really nice and I really liked it. And then it just sparked an idea and the more I was looking at it, the more I wanted to try and transfer that onto the metal, thinking if I'd be even able to do it. So the inspiration for this collection comes from um, a few different sources. One of them is ocean life, sea life. I've been really, really inspired by drawings, tattoo art of whales, of uh, mantas, of just sea creatures in general. I think they are magnificent and so beautiful. So mantas are absolute um, inspiration and I've already finished few necklaces, pendants for necklaces this being one of them and here we go yeah and yeah i'm really excited for them they are made with turquoise which i haven't really worked with in the past i've had few cabochons but this is the first time i'm working with um this one Sonoran uh, and it's just so beautiful and I'm really really excited to add this to this collection because I think it's most fitting uh, <laughs> when the theme is like mostly the theme is water and ocean and sea and sea creatures uh, so I hope yeah it's gonna look good and then there's another inspiration and for this inspiration I'm using other gems mostly amethyst Amethyst. And this one is actually inspired by Japanese art, themes and elements. And yeah, I'm really excited. There's uh, for mantas, on the other hand, I was just really uh, inspired by these creatures by themselves, but I wasn't sure if, you know, I'll be able to pull this off because I haven't been really seeing them 
in made into jewelry so i wasn't sure that maybe it's because people don't really want to wear them and it's you know it's a good idea to make things that are also <laughs> something that people want to make not just what i want to make obviously so i was just putting it off but then i've watched uh, Moana with Jarek, which by the way is such a beautiful movie. I really really recommend watching it Don't think that it's just for kids It's definitely not and it's so magical and I really love how they portrayed Manta, I'm not gonna say the story behind it because I don't want to spoil it for you, but it was beautiful and um, I just, yeah, that was just this final push that I thought, I, I, I don't care, I have to make it, at least a few. So this collection is actually divided into uh, two parts. So this is a part one and there will be a part two in March and in each part I want to create few, let's call it more wearable <laughs> pieces and couple like two three pieces that are more artistic that are bolder in the way it looks like it, it I wanted to create something that would be a crossover between a little you know artwork and jewelry piece and yeah I decided to divide them between these two parts and the second part will have a bit more artistic mantas and a couple more pieces with koi fish. So yeah, but not talking too much about that right now. Let's uh, get on with work. <laughs> and here they are, some of the pieces at different stages. So these are finished, all mantas here, and then a little whale necklace, which I will show you in more details later. Then this little, <laughs> I still haven't decided if I want it to be a pendant or ring. Because pendant everyone can wear and with ring I have to settle for one size and I just don't know which one to go for. But it's gonna be multi, multi, multi stone <laughs> um, pendant or ring. Here's um, whale, still in progress. I still need to engrave it and do quite a lot to it. <laughs> and these are little earrings, little whale earrings. I'm really curious how they're gonna turn out. And this is another pendant with koi fish, with first layer of patina. And I still have to do quite a lot to it. But yeah, I'm really excited to finish it. It's going to be with amethyst. And then here's another pair of earrings. They aren't even soldered. <laughs> so yeah, I just don't know what I want to do with them yet. If I want to add whales to them or... I think I do. I think I would like to add a whale on top here. Huh. Hmm, that actually sounds good. A whale on top and then a gemstone even further. Even that would look good. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Too much going on. And then I've got some flowers here which I will be also using. And here is my stone selection for this collection. Uh, mostly turquoise and then amethyst. And there's also Larimar and Labradorite. And I'm not sure... Oh, Lapis Lazuli. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all because I don't have the time this time. And also, like I mentioned, there is part two coming. So I'm saving some of these for part two and I'm gonna use some of these now. Oh, and there's also opal. I forgot <laughs> to mention that. Opal is a great stone for sea and ocean themes. Yeah. Belly to belly, face to face. Those eyes you take me to the start. 
solution because uh, I need to clean it up now quite properly and I uh, reapply I polished like pre-polished um, two koi fish designs and I reapplied patina and the reason I did it in the weird position was because I wanted to have control over how much patina I apply with this brush so obviously when you hold it down more product will be coming out and I didn't want to apply too much I really wanted just to apply in the already dark areas because I wanted to make it a bit darker and just cover any areas that I might have accidentally polished while I was pre-polishing so that's why I wanted just a tiny bit, so I was working against gravity like that. And yeah, and because I'm kind of a little bit blind, so I was just looking at it. No, just kidding. But yeah, mostly because I wanted to have control over how much I apply. And with the second design, same thing. And now I'm waiting for the patina to dry and then I will... I don't know if I should apply wax first. There it is. Wax first on the areas with patina or if I should... Someone's looking at me. <laughs> Someone can see me through the window and they've been looking at me. Um, so yeah, if I should apply wax first or uh, finish polishing yeah, then, or finish polishing first, then apply wax. I think I'm gonna apply wax first on the patina areas and then polish. I'll see, because I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is there any specific order to it or is it just depends on jewelry? I don't know. I'm not sure. So yeah, just gonna try and see how that works. And I'm gonna go now, eat something, and I'm also a bit uncomfortable because they <laughs> keep watching me. So yeah, because I'm by the window, uh, because of the light. It's afternoon already. Um, so yeah, don't know why that matters. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's afternoon, <laughs> okay.
So it's evening now. <laughs> it's been a minute since I last recorded. I took a break, I ate pancakes, I've watched um, a short uh, documentary video on YouTube. Very interesting, very heavy subject about women in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, like a lot, a lot. There's a lot, but yeah, I really... I don't want to say I've enjoyed that, but I, I, I really appreciate the document because obviously I do not enjoy <laughs> listening about these things, but it's good to know and it's good to know also to appreciate everything that we have here and the quality of life and the freedom. So, yeah. But apart from that, I've been um, still working on jewellery. It's gonna be a long day today because Friday is very close and I still uh, have a lot to do. So I have been polishing, um, soldering, I've been finishing another manta pendant, I've been cutting, sewing, <laughs> doing many different things. Later on I'll show you the final effect of um, these two koi necklaces, koi fish. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure, but I, I hope so. <laughs> koi, koi fish. Oh, the lightning is crazy. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, I will be finishing that and I will show you the final effect, although bear with me that it's dark now, so obviously it's not gonna look the best. <laughs> but you can go to the description box below and find a link to my Instagram and that's where I will definitely have proper nice photos of all of the pieces because this video actually goes up after the collection launch on Friday so you will be able to see everything finished from part two. Okay. To wish you a great week. I will speak to you soon. I have a lot of new videos coming so I hope you will enjoy them. As always leave your um, requests and suggestions in the comments and I really really like reading them and finding um, you know ideas that of the videos that you want to watch. Anyway, <laughs> have a great night. Bye!